big hair don't care hey guys welcome back to my channel if you've never been here before my name is Kristen what's up so today we're gonna be doing this look right here so if you guys like this look make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also if you're not subscribed to my channel because you've never been here or you keep coming back and you haven't subscribed yet just subscribe to my channel because that'd be really cool <laughs> and we're just gonna hop onto this look I'm not gonna ramble it's gonna be a voiceover again so um Yep, just sit back and relax, grab a snack, a drink, something, and watch me do this look that I've got going on right here. <laughs> okay, so don't mind me, I'm just feeling myself, getting ready, getting into it. <laughs> and I was probably listening to music. So I'm going to start off by priming my face with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And then I'm also going to use, before that, my uh, Fourth Ray Beauty Watermelon face milk this stuff smells so good and seriously like i've said before makes your skin feel so soft and amazing i'm one of those people that likes to put my eye makeup on first and then my face makeup but i do like to prime my face before i go ahead and do that also because i felt like i was looking really tired i'm going to use these elf hydro under eye masks and I know I'm not supposed to do that with my teeth, but <laughs> it wouldn't come off. So this is what they look like. They're just little bitty sticky things and you stick them on your face, but they feel so amazing on your under eye. So I'm going to go in with my primer from Makeup Revolution, try not to poke myself in the eye with it first. And then I'm just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to blend that all across my eye. So I'm just going to be using one palette today, and that's the Violet Boss Best Life palette. This palette is so freaking cute. It has all these pretty neutral colors, and then it has like a pop of blue and purple at the end. I love it so much. So first, I'm going to go in with the color Sunsets, and I'm just taking a fluffy brush, and I'm putting that all above my crease and in my crease also. This is just going to be like a transition color for me. Since we're going to be doing like a winged out cut crease type look, make sure when you are putting these colors on, you like wing them out at the end. The next color I'm going into right here is this darker brown color. It's called Summertime. I'm going to use a more pointed brush and get closer to my crease area underneath that first color that I put and just drag that all across my crease and make sure I'm taking it out to the end and winging it out so I can get that winged out effect that I'm trying to achieve. So if this is deep enough for you, you can leave it, but I'm going to go in with this one. It's called Holiday and it's just a black and I'm taking a really small pointed brush and I'm just taking that right into the crease. I'm just going to follow the little winged out area that I've already kind of outlined and just follow that. Just put a little bit and then after I'm done putting that on, I'm taking the brush that had the darker brown color and I'm just blending that out because I don't want it to be such a harsh line there. I want it to be more blended. So after I blend that all out, I'm going back in with that same concealer that I used to prime my eyes with, and I'm just going to cut that out. I started with this brush as, as a small 
concealer brush from morphe but it just didn't work for me so i went in with my bigger concealer brush and that works so much better it's more flat i guess the flatter the concealer brush is the easier it is for you to cut your crease with it So after I finish cutting my crease, I'm going to go in with this really pretty gold color called Friends. I'm just using a flat eyeshadow brush, but I needed to spray it so that this color would show up a little bit better. Um, once I sprayed it with the uh, setting mist, this color showed up so much better and so like 5 times, 10 times, 20 times prettier. <laughs> So I'm going in with two different liners. Uh, first I'm going in with my ColourPop Cosmetics liner in numero uno. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. one on top of that. I just like to use two because I feel like it like like closes any gaps that might be there that I missed with the, yes, the first one. The pin liner is just easier to get the line straight if that makes sense. And then the liquid, more liquidy one that I use for the e.l.f. one is easier to make sure that I fill it all in. So here I'm just going over it with the e.l.f. liner just to make sure there's no holes in it. This one's more liquidy than the pin liner so it just makes it easier, like I said, to fill in anything that I might have missed. For lashes, I'm going to throw on these Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Moving on to the face since it is summertime. I do like to color correct around my mouth because my skin is so uneven in the summertime My face like wants to tan, but then it doesn't want to tan So I just like to color correct in the darker parts, especially around my mouth I use the orange for that and then blend it all out. Make sure you blend it out for foundation I'm using my Juvia's um, I am magic foundation in 140 Angola and I'm just going to dot that all over my face and then blend that in with a brush. Uh, I've used this foundation with a sponge and I do not know what happened, but it started getting patchy when I use this sponge. So this foundation, um, I recommend a brush only. For concealer, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear in 420 Cocoa. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes. 
down the bridge of my nose, my, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. And then I'm just going to blend all of that in. I only show you one side, so you guys don't forget to do the other side of your face. <laughs> but I don't think that you need to watch me do both sides because I do the same thing on the other side that I did on one side. To contour, I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Concealer in the color C18. Uh, when I do liquid contour, I just like to do dots because this stuff can get out of control really easily. So, you know, I can't really take it away, but I can add more. So I just like to do it just a little bit at a time and then blend it in, see where we're at. And it's honestly usually enough. When I'm contouring my nose, I'm just using whatever's left over on the brush to do so, just so it looks more shadowy. For setting powder, I'm using my Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder in the color Honeymoon, just to set underneath my eyes and all those areas that I put my concealer on. I like to clean up underneath my contour line when I do use a liquidy contour. And right here, I'm just using a brush with nothing on it and just dusting off the excess powder off my face. Using this blush from Black Radiance called Warm Berry, I'm just going to take a brush and apply that to my cheeks. Like pretty much right on top of my contour. Before I apply my highlight, I want to go ahead and spray my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. For highlight, I'm using my ColourPop Cosmetics Luster Dust in the color Dewdrop. I'm just going to do my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, do all the high points of your face. I did my chin too today. I don't know why, but <laughs> do all the high points of your face that you just feel like you want to shine. And don't forget to miss your face one more time just to set all that up for you. It makes your highlighter pop a little bit more once you missed it one more time. I'm going to line my eyes with my infallible like I always do. Here I'm just applying those shades, the two brown shades that I put in my crease, not the black underneath my eyes. And then after that, I did use my mascara to coat my bottom lashes and my top lashes. And then I also use the lip color um, Hennyways by ColourPop X Ellery. Uh, I don't know what happened to that footage, but yep. There we are. It's on my lips now. <laughs> that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this look. Like I said before, if you do like this look, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this look, what you like about this look, what you want to see, what's up. Tell me anything. I just want to talk. Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.